What's good YouTube, it's your boy MRPG. I hope you're having an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And we are back reacting to Vinland Saga. Oh, it's been a while. I've reacted to half of uh, Attack on Titan. And I've left the second half of Vinland Saga to react to, whilst we react, to the OVAs of Attack on Titan. So I think it's a perfect time for this. We're also going to be starting Death Note once I'm done with Vinland Saga, which is going to be great. Um, I'm not sure when Death Note will be on the Patreon or on the YouTube, but it'll be soon. <clears throat> How are we all doing, though? Hope we're well. Um, today, I pretty much remember that they got to Wales. Torfin has been basically announced, or whatever you want to call it, as Canute's protector. Ragnar's angry and has a giant ed egghead, as per usual. Um, and... We still miss Thor's. Oh, and Torkel's one of the greatest characters ever. Uh, which is why my hair, hair, hairstyle and bandana is slowly, slowly becoming very similar to him. And there's a reason I'm only drinking water and uh, I've quit cakes. You have Torkel to blame. Soon I will be chucking trees at people. In game. If anyone can hear me. And throwing boulders at people. Again, in game. Um, <laughs> today's cake review well before we do the cake review make sure you like subscribe and uh, I don't know comment one I guess comment one short similar to Vinland Saga and Death Note in size anime that you'd like me to watch because long anime we've still got AOT um, after that you know people have been telling me yo Jojo Hunter x Hunter uh, Demon Slayer so there's tons of animes after AOT that we can jump into, and I can't wait for that. I also want um, a show to start watching soon. And because of Vinland Saga and my brother-in-law, I've been thinking about starting to watch Vikings, but I don't know if I want to do it in my own time or if I want to react to it. Either way, it may not be Vikings, but I do want to start adding a, a show to the channel. Um, I don't just want this to be anime, um, which is why I've asked about movies as well. Um, I don't know how I'm going to edit those, but it's a learning experience I'm looking forward to. Um, those are going to be probably much, much harder than anime edits uh, because of copyright reasons. Um, anime edits are still really difficult for copyright reasons, but those are going to be much harder. Anyway, you guys are here for <laughs> you guys are here for a reaction, so we're going to get into it. Um, but yeah, comment down below a show you'd like me to react to. Um, that's not an anime, of course. Anyway, here's our water review. All right, that's done. But today we have something special. We have a pineapple. Um, as you can see, it's beautiful um, and orange and uh, slightly round. You know, it's got a couple of curves on it. You've got to respect it. Um, and <laughs> it's really nice. I really like pineapple. <sighs> you know there's going to be one comment. You know there's going to be one comment of what we're both thinking. Someone's going to type it. Someone is. <laughs> Actually, anyway, without further ado, um, I can't wait to jump back into the second half of Vinland Saga. I've missed the gang. I've missed Torfin. I've missed Torf. <laughs> um, I've missed Torkel the most. Um, Ask that. A lot of people like him. I do like him, but for what he done to Torf, I can't like him. Um, and I feel like this is going to be... I feel Canute is going to show up this season. And, and I hope we learn more about the king as well. I actually can't wait to get into this. So let's just do it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just do it. Um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon.com forward slash Mario RPG. Uh, we're much further ahead on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And let's do this. Episode 13, Vinland Saga. Child of a hero. I wonder if the intro is going to be different. What the hell? Oh, it's Caesar. Ha ha. More cigars. Is that Arsglad? 
連れてきた同地の制圧も時間の問題かと思うロッキー早ければ This has to be his season, right? His heart We need to see more of Loki, man その後はクヌートだその安否につきましては今のところ世の大事な息子だ状況が分かり次第すぐに伝えよはっ Let me just say this If c a n o o is that ugly bastard son He must have had a good looking wife With strong genes. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. How are they gonna get out of this? Is this a trap from Caesar? ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
just no action, nothing needed. Just great dialogue. I love that. <sighs> that was such a good first 10 minutes. Um, first of all, Ragnar is such a good guy. You can just see that he loves the prince, wants to look after him. Even if it's kind of like, you know, when a mother doesn't let her son grow up. Does that make sense? I guess I think that makes sense in a, in a sense. Like she, you know, um, she babies him too much. That's kind of, that's kind of what he's doing. He's not fully, he knows, he doesn't want him to be involved in conflict and stuff. But in the world they live in, man, like that may be impossible. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? Maybe Ragnar's right, but that may be impossible. But he also, you know, he needs to, as the guy said, you know, let the chick leave the nest. Um, and I love that. Really cool. And we're also seeing a little bit of a different side to Arsclad. Um, because Arsclad said specifically he doesn't want to tell them to plan and he's going to go along with their acting or whatever. But Ragnar, you know, got through to him and now he's telling them to plan. Huh. And that Thorfinn, bro. Thorfinn's like, he's very emotionless, isn't he? He's kind of a savage right now, which makes sense. Because he's been with these guys, what, since the age of six, seven? It makes sense. It makes sense. It's so cool seeing Thorfinn and Canute together, and they had a complete opposites, and now it's confirmed that they're the same age. Can't wait to see where that's going. I can't wait to see the character development in this, in this show. Really, really enjoying it. God, that flew by. I can't believe that was ten minutes. Sagare! Goei wa iranu! だ。だすが。二度言わせる気か。兵に守られねば話もできぬと思われては、我が王家の恥だ。おお。もっとだ。その5倍離れろ。他の者にも伝えろ。さてと。貴殿らに便宜を図ることでどういう見返りがあるの
病を得てからは馬小屋で飼われていた根血だからこそだ俺はデンジンに溶け込んでいるつまりウェールズはデンマーク軍内に俺という工作員を持つことになるあのボンボンを次のデンマーク王に仕立て上げれば俺も国政の養殖につけるああやつらにはこの地一歩も踏み入れさせん So he's got a big connection to Wales. Ha 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 Damn. Damn. Okay. Cotto are looking at t 見てんじゃねえよお姫様<笑>言いてえことはてめえの口で言えや舌がねえのかあぼ僕は臆病で喋らないわけじゃないんだ<笑>でし,し慎重なんだ慎重にしないといけないんだ<笑>僕の発言には政治的な意味が生じるのだ。That's so cool. Okay. 父親陛下のお許しもなく、That's so、cool. 不可侵条約だの、不快感ないんだ。で、し、し、慎重なんだ。慎重にしないと、父親陛下のお許しもなく、不可侵条約だの、不快感の表明だの、できるわけがない。<笑>僕は慎重なのだ<笑>そこそこマシな言い訳言うじゃねえかおつむは足りてるようだなお姫様言い訳などではないお前などに王族の苦労の何がわかるわめくんじゃねえよ座ってろわめいてなどおらぬ僕は自分の発言の正しさを主張しているだけだはいはいわかったって大体なんだその態度はこの僕を何と心得るわし以外のものと話されるとは<笑><笑>ああ、どうしようかな。ああ、どうしようかな。ああ、どうしようかな。もっと早く進めんのかこのままでは雪に振り込められるぞたくあ、うるせえな。私は早く使う。敵の領地を進むというのかウェールズの山の中で雪に振り込められたら身動きが取れなくなるだが兵糧はどうする地方領主どもが電人に力を貸すとは思えん平気平気それもちゃんと考えてますって、うん、大丈夫かよ心配すんなアシュラッドの判断に間違いはねえ I feel like this gonna be a mutiny And Bjorn's gonna lead it eventually. I could be wrong. Eventually, I will react to this, but、um, I want to get to the next episode ASAP. Wow, that was good. Just super dialogue heavy. That's what I like about this show. It doesn't. It doesn't Not like it doesn't care about action, but it just doesn't need it because some of the characters and the dialogue are so well done that you can still enjoy it even without. The, the dialogue is basically the action, do you know what I mean? So, what we learned about Arsglad, and I know I don't pronounce his name correctly, but at this point, he's forever just going to be called Arsglad. He has the blood of Artorius, great Dark Souls boss, by the way. Um. And Artorius was like the conqueror, the, 
the Welsh conqueror. Was he Welsh, Artorius? Sounds like a Greek name. I don't know. Um, and he like conquered all of England and whatever, and made it Britannia. And he's and he's also what King Arthur. The story, his story, is basically what King Arthur was made from. So, we've basically found out that Arthur's Welsh and doesn't care about his Danish roots, which makes sense because he probably hates his Danish roots because his dad sounds like a, well, not a very good guy. Because when his he said when his mum got ill, his dad just kept her in a room or just didn't look after her, and he and it was him who just ran to Wales with her. I hope we get more flashbacks of Askeladd's uh, childhood. I don't know. Or maybe that'll be something later on. I don't even know how many seasons this show has. Um, really, really cool episode, though. Great, great episode to like bring you back to... Uh, I don't know if... Uh, some people have told me in animes there are different... Uh, Seasons aren't done all the time. Sometimes it's like 12 episodes are released and the next 12 episodes are released after a break. Um, so this was a really good episode, if there was a break. I mean, I took a break, so I'm just going to talk about it like that. It's brought you back into the world. Great music, great atmosphere. And it was just them marching. They, I think they also got through that arses area and now they've got their weapons back. Um, I also loved Canute's part. Canute and Ragnar's first part was really good. It shows you how much Ragnar cares for Canute. But I also really like the uh, the part with him and Thorfinn arguing. That was brilliant. And that was like his first time publicly speaking. Um, I wonder if Thorfinn, in my head, I feel like Thorfinn knew what he was doing and got that out of him. But I could be wrong. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But I feel like Thorfinn knows what he's doing there. You know, and annoying and in, intimidating him to try and make him you know intimidate back i guess um so i really really enjoyed that but great episode all around great episode really really liked it um favorite part of the episode was learning about ask Lad's history just the conversation where they were having the conversation as well um i can't wait to learn more about um oh god i've forgotten his name caesar's lookalike oh butchin um Victorious or something, I forgot his name, Artorio or something, I can't remember his name. Can't wait to learn more about him. But MVP of the episode definitely goes to Ask Lad. Great character, great character. There's so much more to him than we know. Um, and literally, Bjorn said he's been with him for decades, I think. And he doesn't barely know anything about him, except that he's from Denmark. So, can't wait to learn more, can't wait to find out more. I hope you've enjoyed the reaction. Um, more episodes to come. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below your MVP and your favorite part of the episode. And I will see you guys next time for more Villain Saga. I nearly said Attack on Titan then. Hey, Villain Saga or Attack on Titan. More anime, more shows, more good stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being you. I'll see you guys next time.